All right, this video is going to be about the, the highlight video um, build-up of this fight. This is a video response to Freaking Yaya 88 who decided what a good idea to make a video completely on the build-up because the build-up is what made everyone want to want to buy this pay-per-view. And it all started back in August. And like he said in his video, it's the pro wrestling has its, you know, its advantages of being scripted. Well, it's scripted for sure, but fake. And one of those advantages is you can add that salt and pepper and lemon juice and whatever you want to build that fire up and to really ignite the feud. And you got feuds like Triple H versus Shawn Michaels and, and uh, Triple H versus Randy Orton even leading into WrestleMania 25 where they did everything possible to make you care for those two guys. And they have the power to do that. They can have Triple H break into Randy Orton's house. They can have Triple H, or sorry, Randy Orton beat up Triple H's wife and it all leads to one big match, and unfortunately that match wasn't as good, but comparing that to this fight here, uh, the two mutual hatreds between the guys, that was all bad grammar I just put out there, but the two hate, the, the two guys hate each other. It all started, but it's up to them, you know, to build their own thing. You know, uh, Cormier was the guy who kind of, that one thing happened, he kind of took it easy, he kind of took shots here and there, but... They were they stayed away from each other. You know whatever they said was on a news thing and here and there. But there's so many news outlets and it's so hard for one thing to go so viral where everyone will see it. I know this that fight that they had in August was one of those things where everyone saw it and but you know the guys kind of you know there's a TV station in Canada they had both the guys there on satellites and they were kind of talking trash back and forth. You know there's another thing just after the fight happened they're kind of in the same building but they're kind of on two separate ends of the building. Uh, but it's not like Jones can go beat up Daniel Cormier's wife and, like, you know, say something to his kid. You know, he could, but it won't... It won't... Uh, he'll come off as very classless, very this, very that. But really, it's just to build a fight. And the best way is to just take every cheap shot you can get and make it as personal as you can get. And I think once you do that, and I think CM Punk knows this too, he knows what, what sells and he knows what will make people buy his fight... And I'm sure the promos and the trash talking he'll do before that fight. And, and Lesnar's the same way. He knew going coming out of wrestling what to do to sell a fight. And Lesnar had the charisma. He had the, the spunk, if you want to call it that. And uh, look at them. Look at Punk's fight has been talked about, you know, everywhere. Lesnar was the biggest box office draw the UFC ever had. And why? Because they knew how to talk. They knew how to sell a fight. And the best way to sell a fight is to make the other guy hate your guts. And uh, this is fight's a perfect example. Chael Sonnen versus Anderson Silva is another good example. You knew the two didn't like each other. Uh, Chael Sonnen took every shot he could at Silva. It led to a great fight. And unfortunately, Chael got his ass kicked every single time. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's, it's the box office that matters. And this fight definitely had that. But then the fight itself was fine. I didn't mind it at all. But that's all. I'll see you guys in the next video.